Greetings, what's up YouTubers, and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts unboxing video. Today I'm going to go through and show you guys the latest Western box set from Arrow Video called Savage Guns for classic Westerns. I'm also going to share with you guys the previous two releases from their Western line that was Vengeance Trails and Blood Money. So stick around, get yourself relaxed. Get comfortable with a beverage and a snack. The ladies are joining me today. We're all trying to get a little bit comfortable here. We got Hannah and Heidi. So let's check out these box sets. Okay, so the plastic was removed and I did take the slip cover off the box just to save a little bit of time. Trying to fight that with one hand would not be good for the video. So here's what the slip cover looks like. There on the side of the box you can see the Arrow Video logo. You get the box title, Savage Guns, Four Classic Westerns, and in this set, you get I Want Him Dead, El Puro, Wrath of the Wind, and the Four of the Apocalypse. And then on the back of the slipcover, you have a little bit of info about each of the discs. There's a little bit of a write-up here, a synopsis of the box. Four disc limited edition. Pretty good imagery there of some of the characters in the movies. And the image on the box itself is exactly the same as the slipcover. And it's a nice matte finish. It's a very sturdy box. And you can see each of the movies come in their own, on their own uh, disc with their own case. So you have the Four of the Apocalypse on top, Wrath of the Wind, El Puro, and I Want Him Dead. It also looks like it comes with possibly a poster and a booklet. So we'll check those out. It's a really nice set. I really enjoy these Western movies. And I hope Arrow keeps releasing these. So here's the box on the inside. Again, it's uh, very sturdy. Let me push these up so they don't slide over. Very sturdy box and um, yeah, it'll, it'll look nice on the shelf for many years to come. So we'll slide that off to the side and we will dive into the first movie here, The Four of the Apocalypse. I believe this is a Fulci movie. It is. Uh, the horror maestro himself, Lucio Fulci, toward the end of uh, the Italian Western cycle of the 1960s and 1970s. The Four of the Apocalypse pushes the genre's characteristic cynicism to a heightened level. Starring uh, Fabio Testi, who is a shady gambler, arrives in town to practice his trade and is immediately arrested. I'm not going to give too much of that away. I encourage you guys to grab these if you can. That's what the disc art looks like there. And there's a reversible cover, which looks pretty good. I'm assuming that that is the original art that was on the cover. And then this is the arrow. The second title here is called Wrath of the Wind. I've never seen this one before. 
So I'm looking forward to checking it out. Looks like there's two different versions of the film, one that runs 97 minutes and run that, one that runs 106 minutes. You can watch it with Italian, English, or Spanish language, and you can watch it with English subtitles. This movie came out in 1970, and the previous movie I didn't mention came out in 1975, which is way, way late in the spaghetti western genre. So this one stars Terence Hill, who was uh, very famous as the Trinity character. I enjoy his movies quite a bit. It says here that it, he shows his darker side as an assassin who finds his conscience is violent and downbeat. Looking forward to checking this out. I probably watched this one tonight. There's Terence Hill right there on the disc and there is the reverse cover which looks really great I think that's uh, has the Italian title I think that cover is better than this one actually uh, most likely it will flip this one it says that was subsequently retitled Revenge of Trinity to capitalize on the success of Hill's earlier appearances in their Western comedy, They Call Me Trinity. That makes sense. So that is uh, Wrath of the Wind. The next one up is El Puro. I like that cover. I'm trying to read the signature there. Looks like it says P. Franco was possibly the artist for this piece. I don't know. Looks like it. And this one also has two different cuts of the film. You get a 98 version and a 108 minute version. This movie came out in 1969. It was also known as The Rewards Yours, The Man's Mine. Atmospheric score by Alessandro Alessandroni, who also did The Devil's Nightmare, apparently. It says this is a little scene but compelling entry into the spaghetti western genre, presented here in both the shorter and for the first time on home video, longer version. Robert Woods stars in this show, in this movie. Um, he was a very famous spaghetti western actor. And you may remember him from the Pecos movies. I, I always liked his movies. There's the disc. Again, this is a beautiful cover with the Italian title. And this one, most likely, I will flip and put that on the cover. That looks really, really great. They're both really nice on this one. I like this one a little bit better. I like the colors on this one. I think it looks really good. So that is El Puro from, I believe I said 1969. Yes. And number four, the last one, and probably the most in-your-face title. It gets right to the point. I love that. I want him dead. It's a great image on the front, too. Holding a six-shooter. It looks like this one came out in 1968. You can watch this one with Italian language or English, as well as English subtitles. So it says here at the top, in the 1960s, American actor Craig Hill 
made a new career for himself in Spain, appearing in westerns, a Spanish-Italian co-production from director Paolo Bianchini, God Made Them, I Kill Them, I Want Him Dead features Hill in his brooding best. It's about the American Civil War and uh, Confederate soldiers fighting. I have not seen this one either, at least not that I remember. It doesn't, doesn't ring a bell. A compelling historical dimension to this dark revenge story. It says it's brutal. These are the kind of movies that I like. These spaghetti western movies are, are pretty brutal and uh, very atmospheric. And they're, they're fun to watch. These are low budget movies. Every once in a while you'll find a gem. There's the Italian title with a really another beautiful cover on the interior. So it's either that one or that one, which uh, again, these are both beautiful covers. I might just keep that one. That's kind of, I like that it's right in your face. And they have an advertising insert here for Arrow Video's streaming service. Stream the killer cut. I don't stream at all. I'm a, kind of against it actually, and I feel like I'm probably the last guy to to not jump on the streaming board or the, the streaming uh, fad that's everybody's get going into now. I'm more of a physical media guy. I'll always be a physical media guy. So, so that was it for the four movies. We'll do a little recap here and then we'll go through the booklet and I'll take the poster out. So we started out with the Four of the Apocalypse, Wrath of the Wind, El Puro, and I Want Him Dead. So we have a two sided poster here, and the first image is the same that's on the slipcover and the box set. And on the back, this is a little bit, this is kind of weird, I'll say. Um, it looks like it's a skeleton wearing a cowboy hat and he's got his six shooters across his chest. And I'm not, I'm not really sure where that image comes from but it's also on the booklet we're about to go through as well. So I don't know if this is something that Arrow Video came up with or if this was part of um, the theatrical posters from one of the releases. I really don't know. I'm not, not a big fan of this image. This doesn't really do much for me. I, I think this one's okay, but I think they kind of overdid it with having this on everything, but it's just a small gripe. I, I th it looks good. It looks good. So we will flip through the book really quick and I'll just kind of do a, a little recap of some of their previous releases and then we'll end the video. So it's, uh, as always, with Arrow Video they have really high quality. You guys know that by now. And if you're kind of new to collecting and you don't know much about Arrow, you always get more than your money's worth, in my opinion. Uh, they always have really nice clean transfers. They have an overabundance of special features and bonus materials. They always add little trinkets like uh, posters and booklets and hardcover books sometimes. Not in this set, but uh, they have art cards and just a lot of different things. And they're, they're really geared toward the collector. You know, they, they go out of their way to pamper... Uh, their customers, you know. So, like I said, you get more than your money's worth when you when you plunk down your hard-earned cash for these movies, and they make sure that you come back. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. So here is the table of contents. Talks about the cast and the crew. Everything that you would need as a fan of some of these obscure, uh, low-budget Western movies. The 
This is from Four of the Apocalypse. Here's a write-up called Savage Guns, Frontier Violence, Spaghetti Western Style by Howard Hughes. Very glossy pages, very high quality. There's a Bible with blood in it. And then they talk about the different, the four different movies that are in this set. You get some pretty good info about it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give it up to Arrow Video for keeping physical media alive. A lot of these movies probably would never see the light of day on a. Uh, Blu-ray if it wasn't for companies like Aero Video. And not only did they release it on Blu-ray, but then they give it the, the full Monty. You know, they give you a nice booklet packed with info and photos. It's uh it's really something special. These are really nice, really, really nice book. Talks about the restorations that they they put the movies through so that they're squeaky clean for us to enjoy. So that is it. Um, I would obviously recommend this. I I kind of gushed about it during this video, but I would strongly recommend that you pick this up. So I think the asking price is around $70, I think. I, I could be wrong about that, but I think it's roughly 70 bucks, which may seem a little steep, but considering that you do get four movies, and you figure if movies are 20 bucks a piece, that's already 80 bucks. Plus you get all the bonus materials that are here on the back. You get a nice booklet, a color booklet with really sharp glossy pages and uh, nice image images from the movies the poster is okay I could probably do without that to be honest with you uh, I, I do love posters I'm a poster guy but I just this image here doesn't really do a whole lot for me but I'm not complaining I mean it's it's still pretty cool I wouldn't put that poster up though I mean, that's just me so I'm going to pause it here, put this stuff away, and then I'll kind of briefly talk about these to make you guys aware. And again, I'm sure most of you already own these, but just for the small chance that there's somebody who's stumbling across my videos that doesn't know anything about Arrow or some of their previous releases, I want to educate them a little bit and maybe they'll pick these up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this was the first box set that they released of their Western classic westerns line and now we're on three savage guns is kind of i guess volume three this would be volume one this one came out i believe it was like two or three years ago let me double check here on the back if it says this may have come out around like in 2020 maybe uh i could be wrong about that but it's been out for a few years now and i i believe it's still available it, it has not sold out which is good for you if you didn't get this yet because it's still very affordable. Once these box sets sell out, you know how it goes, and they, they double or triple in price. Um, so you can still get this at an affordable price. I would even, um, if you're on the fence about it, you can go on eBay and look for a gently used one, and it'd probably be even cheaper than that. So, And if you find out that you love these kind of movies, then you can move on to Volume 2 and 3. I'll show you Volume 2 here in a minute. But this one was called Vengeance Trails, and you get four westerns again. And the movies that were in this set were Massacre Time. This is another Fulci movie starring Franco Nero. I enjoy this one quite a bit. This is a good one. And then here's Robert Woods again. He's in another movie in the Savage Guns 
set, but here he is in My Name is Pecos. And then you have a Klaus Kinski movie, and God Said to Cain, another great movie. This set is banging. This set right here is, is phenomenal. I, I really recommend all three of these, but this is a really good introduction to spaghetti westerns. If you want to start here, this would be a great place for you to start. And then number four in this box set is called Banditos. Um, also, just like the other set, comes with a two-sided poster. I'm not going to stretch it out, but it's uh, very high quality paper. And this stuff, um, it's very thick, so I, it's not going to crease or wrinkle. And then you get another glossy booklet, exactly the same as the other one. Um, exactly the same in quality, but not exactly the same in the contents of the booklet, of course. These are for these four movies. But it's, I mean, it's identical as far as the quality goes. And I'm not going to go through the whole book, just going to give you a little sneak peek. And then we're going to move on and talk about volume two. And we'll do a little wrap up. And you guys can let me know down below if you plan on picking any of these up or if you have them already. So I'm going to pause it, put this stuff away, and we'll get into volume two. So volume two was called Blood Money. And this one came out about a year ago. Again, four westerns, same exact style of packaging. They, so they're all going to look beautiful on the shelf together. They're all very uniform. They're all very high quality, sturdy boxes. And I'll show you what they all look like together at the end of the video. This one also came with a slip cover. The first one, Vengeance Trails, did not come with a slip cover. Uh, as far as I know, it was not issued with one. That was volume one. But Volume 2 and Volume 3 do have slipcovers that go over the box itself. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So if you're looking for one with a slipcover, now you know that it, it doesn't come with one. So you're not, you don't have to search high and low looking for one because there is, there is not one. So the first movie here is called Find a Place to Die. And i got to say, um, all three of these sets are highly collectible and they're all three worth buying you, you know you can take my word for it or not it's up to you if you guys watch my videos and you generally agree with some of the movies I pick up and some of the things I say then I, I think that you'll really be happy with these three sets if you don't have them already second one here is called the vengeance is mine third one is called ten thousand dollar blood money first one's called, or the fourth one, however you want to look at it, Matalo, Kill Him. And you get the same thing. You get a double-sided poster. The very thick, almost, uh, almost like a cardboardy type feel to that poster. It's very thick, very high quality. So I think if you got that thing framed, it would look beautiful. And then here is the booklet. Same design, has a nice glossy pages. Talks about the movies. Everything that you would need to know about these movies. You know, it's fun watching these movies because, like I said earlier, you know, if it wasn't for companies like Arrow Video, a lot of these obscure movies would probably be lost or hidden. People wouldn't know about them. And then when you watch these and you find out that you really enjoy these, it's like finding the little hidden gems and it's worth it. It's really worth it to watch these movies. So that is it for the three volumes i'm going to pause it here i'll kind of do a recap and we'll show them side by side and we'll end the video so there it is you got volume one vengeance trails you got volume two blood money and the latest and greatest is volume three savage guns i hope that they keep releasing these sets 
I really enjoy these. Uh, I enjoy these just as much as I enjoy the Indicator Powerhouse Hammer Film box sets. Those are great too. I really enjoy those. And the um, the Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome uh, Forgotten Gialli box sets are excellent too. This To me, these box sets are right up there with those, the two that I just mentioned, as far as being highly collectible and uh, they're kind of gems in my collection anyway. So I, I would strongly recommend grabbing these before they go out of print. And that's what they look like on the spines. I, I like how they made these boxes to look like they're old and dingy. I don't know if you guys can pick that up through my phone here. But, I mean, these things are, are like mint. But they make them look like they're kind of dingy and worn out, like they're old, dusty, West, you know, like a Western item. And I like that. I like that feel of it. It just, it looks like they're filthy and they're, they have a little age to them, but they're actually like brand new and in pristine condition. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. And hopefully I was able to give you some suggestions here. So take care and I will catch you guys next time. Later.